The Battle of Stony Creek reenactment is taking place this weekend, and it's the first time since 2019. It was back on June 6th of 1813, 210 years ago, when the British forces invaded an American encampment right here in Stony Creek. Sean Cowan is live at Battlefield Par Park with more. Hey, Sean. Hey, Matt. Well, the first reenactment took place here this afternoon, but there are still times to catch a couple of more. One is going to take place again here tonight at 830, and then there's another one tomorrow afternoon happening at 2 o'clock. But here, it's much more than the actual reenactments. As you take a look around and you walk around, you really go back in time more than 200 years. The goal is to bring people back to the War of 1812. It's a history lesson taken to the extreme, with cannons, guns, reenactors, and volunteers as civilians. The Battle of Stony Creek has once again come to life well over a hundred years later. People back then, though they lived in a different time, were basically the same as us. They just had to deal with like a different circumstance of events and stuff. So I do this to try and honor those that went before us. Each of the reenactors have a different role to play in telling the story of the battle. Uh, what I'm portraying is the uh, Royal Artillery Captain, so I would have been in, in command of six, six guns and about 50 men. While the actual reenactment of the Battle of Stony Creek is a major portion of this weekend's event, it's not the only highlight. There are many vendors around Battlefield Park, all in an effort to take people back to the early 1800s war life during that time so um, it, within the encampments there would be merchants and they would sell to the soldiers um, that were fighting in the war while there is a history lesson here it's also a huge community event drawing in people with common interests it's kind of a little hobby that we've had and i like to sew i like the history of it and it's just a, a wonderful group of people that kind of share the same interests and a fun event. We have volunteers that come up from uh, America fighting for the Americans uh, in the reenactment itself. People are coming from all over the place for this event. They, it, although it's local, it, people come from all over to enjoy this day. And I'm just getting into character here in Stony Creek, like many other people are as well. I'm told there's over 200 volunteers to make sure this reenactment happens. Uh, Captain Peterson is one of them, right? Yes, that's right. And what's your role here uh, today uh, during the reenactment as well as tomorrow? Uh, so today I'm portraying a captain with the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, we are hauling an artillery piece with us as part of the battle. And now that we do know the outcome of the battle with the Americans and the British, we know that the British won. What went on during that actual battle that you can remember? Uh, during the actual battle, it was a nighttime battle, so there was a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, and uh, didn't work out well for the Americans. Where do you think they went wrong? They were asleep at the time. Uh, British surprised them in the middle of the night, and uh, by the next morning, they'd lost a couple generals and a couple pieces of cannons. And where we are standing right now in Stony Creek, kind of in the southern, on this portion right near the Great Lakes, this would look a lot different, right, if the uh, war actually had a different outcome. Certainly. Uh, the Niagara and city of Hamilton would have been under the Stars and Stripes at this point instead, so a bit of a shock for all the locals. So obviously a lot of good history for people to come out and learn about. Yeah, there is lots to learn, lots to see and do, a lot of interaction, and uh, there are certainly um, lots of willing participants who would like to answer your questions and fill in all the blanks that you have. So it's going on uh, here tonight right up until 10 o'clock. The other reenactment is taking place at 8.30 and then another one tomorrow at 2 o'clock. But I am told that the fireworks have been cancelled for tonight, and that's all because of the wind.